Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about what was my funniest experience in Magic the Gathering before we had um, big card shops like Star City Games. This was way before you would print out a list of every single card in the set. So I believe this is 6th edition and 5th edition. And then me and my friends would go to flea markets all the time and try to complete it. And I would just write down here Armageddon in case I didn't have Armageddon. So I found these in storage. I am trying to buy a new home right now. So I'm going just so I don't have to pay storage fees because I realize storage fees are like $80 a month. So why not just buy a bigger home and therefore just move all the magic stuff. So I'm slowly moving it and I'll show you as I go. But this is the favorite part of my collection which is trying to complete these sets. I have a play set of every single alliance and I'll show you that into a near future video. But this was just so fun to do was to get a binder and go find these cards. And you could not buy them, you had to go find them. So this is 5th edition, Wrath of God I never found, Counterspell. Obviously I can buy a set for a lot cheaper but this is just a fun hobby. And it's a good way to enjoy magic, the artwork of the magic. It makes you appreciate it, in my opinion, stasis way, way, way more because it's hard. It is really hard to make a complete set. So when I was younger, we had these flea markets. Um, my friend and I used to go to and we would go through the... And honestly, back then, no one cared very much about prices. Yes, we did know some cards were more valuable, like Ball of Lightning used to be extremely expensive. But for the most part, no one really cared about prices because there was no, especially 5th edition. I remember this set very clearly because I had no idea. This card used to be extremely, Mana Class is actually pretty pricey. No idea of any of these prices or even if they are common. I, need to, I do have a 5th edition Verge of Paradise, but I did not find it in the wild. So the, the point was you couldn't trade for it. You had to find a card in the wild and that's how you had to do it. And I had a Sylvan Library obviously was very difficult to find in the wild back. And this was in, I think high school, middle school, like probably like middle school when 5th edition came out. It was just a blast to, for you to, for your parents. Mana Vault was pretty pricey. For your parents to take you and your friends to spend the day at the flea market Flea markets, when I and the lands were probably the easiest ones to collect at the time, it's not that easy anymore. So yeah, I would definitely want to complete the collection, but I would still do it the same exact way. It's just that, you know, 5th edition, 6th edition, those cards are not very easy to come by now in a bulk sense. I don't know why they reprint, uh, reprinted that card. Mystic Tutor. Prosperity, I think Vampiric Tutors in this set, but I don't have any of those. It was just a wonderful experience to have. And it's one of the things I love most about Magic is, it, is having fun. And I think when I moved away from that, I used to write these all the time, the card number and the you know, Zombie Master and Vampiric Tutor obviously is probably the most expensive card in the set. This card used to be extremely pricey. It's just such a good time. I'm gonna go through this faster. And I would rarely recommend, I would honestly, I'm, again, no, no Birds of Paradise. I, I guess people knew Birds of Paradise was good even back then. But this set was a lot easier to understand and do because I was one year older, I had more allowance, I didn't get, I have like eight copies of this. But I don't, it's really fun to go through my stories and see like what I have because it's not all just valuable stuff. Some of the stuff have has gained a lot of value. Breastland, it's like 25 bucks now. Like, who, oh man, it's crazy. Some of the stuff has gained a lot of value, but it's not, for me at least, it's not the fact that it's valuable. It's just kind of fun to do. So I'm gonna flip through this one really, really fast. Again, you just print out these sheets of paper. You go ahead and this is seventh edition and eighth. I stopped doing it around that time. It just brings back so many memories because like each of these memories like harder to find cards like this card was very difficult to find it's still pricey in I think it's the only artwork of that one Warship is pricey now Wrath of God 7th edition 
It's a complete seven edition because again, I, oh geez, I'm missing one here. I don't know what that is. But again, when you, as I got older, I had more allowance money. I started working. I think this was like in high school. I got a job at the Gennardi's, which if you're up north, it's like a supermarket chain. I worked in the salad bar and then became a salad bar manager and it was really, really uh, interesting. I remember finding that card. And so, and it's amazing because some of these cards, ooh, and seven for this in Birds of Paradise, there we go. Some of these cards were just very difficult to come by and I can't really explain like in snaring bridge is a 25 40 dollar card i know that's pricey uh because it's very good and modded right now it stops all types of decks and then the lands i didn't complete blinding angel was hard to get avatar of hope i never got in a Edition. but you can see the time like it just doesn't even make sense to me anymore is i used to even commons which i didn't have like curiosity wrath of god worship like curiosity isn't worth very much money but at the time I was like you know I want to make a complete collection and that is my goal that's what I want to do so just looking at these cards ambitions cost is fantastic just looking at the cards makes me very happy and Lord of the Undead Grey Pack I don't have that one it's also interesting to see which cards I didn't get right uh, and they tend to be the more valuable cards at the time which are the more valuable cards right now so Pyroclasm, Wind, Birds of Paradise, wow, I'm, Birds of Paradise, Elvis, uh, Piper, I got one of those. Birds of Paradise has probably always been a very good card as uh, this little history lesson will show you. Defense Grid, another Coat of Arms. So I will continue to make, I will continue to, oh wow, the Urza Lands were in 8th. I'll continue to try to do this and there's just a really good fun time in my life where you don't have responsibilities, you're young, your friends are cool and they're just, you know, you just go to a flea market every weekend to try to complete a set of whatever the news. Uh, in this case, I went all the way from 5th edition all to 8th. Bye guys.